In 1930, the Paramount Film Service decided to expand their circuit of showcase theatres by building one in Manchester. They already had theatres in the West End of London and in Paris. The Paramount at Manchester was magnificent. Nothing like it had ever been seen before in the British Isles. Although designed by architects Frank Verity and his partner Sam Beverly, it was very much an American-style theatre, with its pay boxes outside the main entrance doors, almost on the pavement. Although Verity and Beverly had developed a style of their own based on classical traditions, their theatres were spacious, palatial, and seemed hospitable and joyous. Verity and Beverly had designed Paramount's Plaza and Carlton Theatres in London and their Paramount in Paris. All their theatres were of high capacity, comfortable and enjoyable and very suitable for the pre-release of Paramount Productions who considered themselves a very upmarket company. The auditorium of the Manchester Paramount had been decorated in a free treatment of the Baroque period, which had flourished in Italy and Spain in the 17th century, although there had been no slavish copying of period detail. Despite the vast size of the auditorium, the generous scale of the decorative scheme was welcoming and intimate. Architects seemed to be at pains to preserve an intimate touch as if they were alarmed that the immense size of the auditoria they were commissioned to create would have a distant and impersonal atmosphere. The Paramount at Manchester, which opened on Monday, October the 5th, 1930, was Britain's largest provincial hall. It had 3,000 seats. The main ceiling of the auditorium was lit by concealed chromium-plated reflectors housed behind the cornices. Each reflector was fitted with a colour screen holder which gave scope for any desired colour light to be obtained. Suspended from the ceiling were six large electroliers, each of which weighed half a tonne and were seven foot six inches in diameter. The console for the organ had four manuals, and the organ pipes and relays were in five separate chambers located at the sides of the proscenium arch. The well at Sir Hope Jones unit organ installed at the Paramount Theatre Manchester claimed to be the world's finest pipe organ. It was largely due to the research and invention of Robert Hope Jones, an Englishman, that the Wurlitzer organ became the ingenious and effective organ that it was. The Manchester organ contained all the tones usually found in a church organ, combined with such orchestral instruments as clarinet, flute, piccolo, violins, trumpets, trombones and saxophones.